Ladies and gentlemen, for our next match up here, we will stay in the super heavyweight division for you, the United States of America versus Italy. Two of the most highly touted and impressive super heavyweights in the world with incredible resumes, both men, multiple world champions. Let's welcome them now to the table, starting with the man from the USA. Ladies and gentlemen, he is known as Easy Money, Dave Chafee. Dave Chafee looking in tremendous form. You can see the focus in his eye as he, as he walks to the stage now. This man carved out of stone, Dave Chafee, staring down the camera. Very imposing figure will stand across the table from Hermes Gasparini tonight. Dave Chafee has made declarations that he wants another go at Lavan. This match tonight is an opportunity for him to achieve exactly that, to book himself a ticket to face the number one rank armorist in the world. Look at the man, fired up, ready to go. And Dave's opponent makes his way to the table here at East versus West representing Italy. He is from an arm wrestling family and is a multiple Italian national champion and former WAF champion of the world. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome Hermes Gasparini! One thirty kilos of Hermes Gasparini. He said uh, he is at his best shape ever. He is ready to take on any challenger. He wants to prove himself. His goal is nothing less but Levan Sugineshvili. He believes he will destroy Dave Chafee, and this is the moment of truth. Today is the day that he will see how strong he is. We waited for this match for quite some time. They never pulled each other. And Dave has been looking great, and he just dealt with maybe the best top row, top row on the planet. <coughs> Hermes wants to show that he is the best top row on the planet. Dave Chafee, Hermes Gasparini, best of five. Let's fucking go. I'm so excited for this match. Everyone I talked to today, or pretty much the whole weekend, was like, I think it's 50-50. Uh, Dave just had an immense war on King of the Table versus Vitaly Laletin uh, that he won. It's just one of the best matches of all time for sure. Dave learned a lot of good things about himself and he's ready to take that to Hermes. Hermes was preparing for a match versus Jerry Cataret, so he's very aware and very ready to, to be ready for a flop wrist. Dave possesses different strengths than Jerry Cataret. He doesn't want to give up his wrist that easily, but if needed to, we know there's a press. And I'm joined by Neil Pickup. Neil Pickup is back. He'll take some breaths to get back. He's been running. It's, it's not that close. I'm glad that Dave's gone over to the corner there, Ray, because I can tell you, there's no easy way up those stairs, son. <laughs> they... they we, we kind of talk with athletes, I'm like, hey, so, you know, Neil's going to need some, some minutes, you know. So they're like, okay, we'll take lower grip, slow grip, no problem. Yeah, maybe a defibrillator. <laughs> <That's laughs> <what I thought. laughs> hey, don't, don't, don't make jokes about it. Last time Dave pulled, the match ended with Vitaly Letting going to the hospital. Now here we go. Look for the side pressure from Dave. Look for the back pressure from Hermes. That was the script, right? Who yes. reads scripts these days? Dave Chafee has been changing things yeah. up. And Dave yeah. is the most dangerous on those first two rounds. Everyone on the planet knows it. He's the most dangerous on first two rounds. Hermes wants to show dominance right straight from the start. He doesn't believe Dave can take his hand. Speeds he said, weapon. impossible. No! No! Hermes felt oh, something. we see the energy. Hermes felt like he felt uh, Dave's wrist and hand buckle there. That's what happened right there. As yes, Dave exactly. applied that back pressure, Hermes hung in there. And ordinarily, you would think Gasparini would have the speed advantage and Dave would have the power advantage. Hermes Gasparini chose to load hard there. He put the power down. Here we go. Big hit from Dave again there. And very little movement. I, I have shades of Levan Saganashvili match before the start, but let's see. There's a little warning for Dave. 
Both athletes are very excited to pull. Hermes, Hermes keep like Hermes called me. He's like, I'm in the best shape of my life. He's like, he's not taking my risk. Don't think about it. I'm gonna destroy him. I'm gonna win him, and then I will know if I'm ready for Levan Second Shvili. Yeah. We know that's the only sure. name at this point on Hermes Gasparini mind. Dave just wants to get back at the top of the pack. Hermes told me yesterday that he was here to make a statement. Now is the time to do so. He hangs in there. We're going to go to the strap, and no real surprise there. I'm sure that Hermes wasn't looking to hang in there any longer than he needed to. He's got a lot of confidence in the strap, and interestingly, while most people felt that Dave would come in the bigger man, heavier man was Hermes Gasparini. Oh my God! Neil touched that bicep, and he almost fainted. Yeah, insane. I mean, that thing was hard. <laughs> you know, in the words of my wife. Let's see if this match is this hard as his bicep. Dave is always looking in shape. I have never seen Dave out of shape. Dave is in great shape, in great mental state. He loves armors. He's been, I think this is third or fourth super match this year for him. You know, if I'd have any concerns for Dave, it's exactly that. It's the fact that he's been so active and in so many brutal matches. And, and sometimes those things can add up on you. Hey, but if, if someone calls you and says like, hey, Jerry Cataret cannot make it. You, do you want to pull Hermes Gasparini? What do you say? You say, hell yeah. Especially if you're Dave Chafee. Chafee there, again, doesn't seem happy with the application of the strap. Let's listen, see if we can hear what he's saying. I think he was looking for a little tiny too, but he's got what he's got and we're in the referee's grip. Yeah. Look at him, he's Gasparini now, focusing in on the positioning of the elbow yeah. on the hand and wrist. Okay. Being told to move his elbow back. Down come the Don't hands of Chief. Referee's grip. Don't move. Watch for the explosion. Let it go. There we go. And then Chafee they loses to the, the side time. from Chafee. Chafee Good is back pressure. right over the back Good there. Good back pressure from Hermes. And Hermes takes. Takes the hand, gets the... Dave is in the full press. We expected this to be happening in round three. Straight away, Dave knows he has this weapon. Stop, stop. Elbow foul for, for Hermes. Wow. A couple of things really important right there. The hand and wrist of Dave Chafee were sacrificed, and yet he was and not yet. pinned. Okay. Yes. And he's making his way back into that match diligently. I feel like Dave has always, like, when he lost some matches, he was chasing guys with his hand because he feels comfortable. But he has so much power. I'm sorry, he has so much ridiculous power. He can split the core of earth if he wanted to in that side pressure. That he can dump his wrist and just push to the side. And that's exactly what he did right here. Hermes Gasparini now, I think, he needs to change his strategy. If the hand gave up, you can take that hand all day. The problem is, can you deal with that center power and side pressure? What we're seeing here is in the evolution of Dave Chafee as an arm wrestler. This is a man who's growing into his technical prowess. For many years, he had a certain set of tools, and he utilized those with great efficiency, but like all things, they have a ceiling, and you must evolve. Dave Chafee down, down, is doing down, exactly that. Down. My concern for Dave is that in the past, he's shown that he can gas out. What was great about his last match was that he lasted the distance and seemed to evolve as the match got longer. And I wonder whether he can do the same again by utilizing these different styles in the match. We're about to find out. There is Gasparini almost certain to get the wrist and hand of Dave Chafee. He's done it once. I'm pretty sure he'll get it again. The interesting thing is, what did Dave Chafee feel there? He may have just got a big confidence boost knowing that even with his hand and wrist sacrificed, he may have enough power to drive straight through this young man. We have seen that Hermes can deal with the uh, floppers press in good positions before. Dave has a lot of power. Let's see where this one goes. Again, Hermes has that, has that wrist has that wrist, but side pressure game has been won by Dave Chafee. He comes close. 
And now good center hold, good center position. Good center position. Wrist is getting totally stretched out. Hermes Gasparini in good position, putting in wear and tear on Dave Chafee. And finishes the match on the first round. Wow. That is a big statement. It's a huge statement. And he, he climbed to an impossible degree there. Literally almost walked himself out of the match. Dave Chafee hung in there. To his credit, he hung in there, but possibly a little too long. You could see he didn't have any purchase on the hand and wrist. And as I said a moment ago, it's an evolution for Dave. As you can see there, Hermes just got completely out of Dave's hand and wrist. Worked his way around to an impossible position for Dave to recover from and then came in for the press. I'm sure that's done a great deal of damage to Dave Chafee. Absolutely. Big turning point. One of my favorite matches of all time as Hermes Gasparini was Michael Todd. Hermes at that point was way lighter and he did really great in that match. So he knows when he takes someone's hand, he, I think he has instinct of climbing. So he climbed so far away from Dave's wrist that Dave just couldn't apply that power. And at this point, Dave is just getting stretched out, stretched out more. And your, when your wrist is getting stretched out more, there's less things you can do. Even in a flop wrist press, you, you want to be as close to your wrist as possible. You don't want to be hanging on to someone with your fingertips. And that's what exactly Hermes did to Dave. The interesting thing for Hermes Gasparini is that this is a man that's progressed through the weight classes. He started his career as a middleweight. And often in those lighter weight classes, the athletes are required to develop a real level of technical proficiency. And Hermes Gasparini did that. He worked his way up and he gained those skills. He gained the ability to work his way around very high level, strong arm wrestlers. That technical prowess has stayed with him. And while he always favors the top role, he does it very, very well. He's far from a one trick pony. This guy can evolve. And as you saw there, he'll work his way into the match. He'll gain a position. But when he does that, he's happy to come around and press when he pulled Michael Todd in Italy years ago. We saw evidence of that in that match, and it stayed with him. He's learned that that's a weapon for him, and he really put it down to great effect there. And it'll be interesting to see just how much damage that did to Dave Chafee. I believe to become a great top roller, you need to have a great press. Just because if you take so much out of your opponent, you need to finish the job. And a lot of top rollers cannot finish the job because they don't have the press. Hermes on the other point has that, has that option. And I believe he prepared for Jerry Catteret. I think he, he talked with Gennady Kukwini about that match. He talked about mistakes that Gennady made. He was ready to face that. And this is why the match straight away went into position that it went to. Because, Je sorry, Hermes was ready for Jerry. And Dave is kind of doing the same thing as Jerry is doing. So he's very ready for that. Let's see how much energy and endurance these guys have left for num round number two. He's fighting for that grip a little bit. What was interesting in the first round is that Dave was looking for the back pressure yeah. and the counter top roll. Heavy breathing, there's no cardio on this one. I know how they feel, you should have seen me on the bloody steps. Oh, Aramis is sitting down all the time I see him. <laughs> Either he's eating or sitting down. And, but like I said, Aramis is gunning for level no, second back, back, back. so yeah. for him this is the test to prove not only to the world but to himself that he is ready or at least worthy of this challenge we're going to the referee's grip now and i think that dave chafee if he's got the presence of mind to think about this if he can find his way into a strap i think he needs to sacrifice the hand and wrist straight off the start and drop straight in there don't look to try and match top rolls and back pressure with Hermes now he's dealing with a man who does it better who controls his hand and wrist better than than dave does and dave will not win that battle i just don't see him doing that in the long grass he needs to make sure that he gets arm on arm and that he gets the match a side as soon as Hermes gets the opportunity to climb, he will do that and he'll make it go dark really quick. Big decision now for Dave Chafee, if he can get to the strap. Yeah, it, I, I believe it's gonna get become way more problematic for Dave to get the strap, just because 
he, he lost his wrist and the wrist is getting done. And we saw it in a match versus Vitali where he was struggling and he was fighting for that strap and eventually he got it. Still so much power from Dave Chafee, good to see. Dave, I think Dave has embraced the super match arm wrestling and he has worked on his endurance for the last, I don't know how many matches and he's becoming better and he is becoming better because we saw that every time Dave got stopped, he just faded away into nothingness after those rounds. But now he's looking better. Even now on this start, he was going as hard as he could. No doubt about it, Ray. Whatever the outcome of tonight's match, Dave Chafee is an improving force. And without a shadow of a doubt, he's going to get better. And he's the guy that's taking the matches that other people don't want. He's the man that put the brakes on Alex Kadecha. Uh, and, and stopped an incredible rise from the giant pole. My wife's done that a few times when she wears the wrong dress. Now, on occasion, you can come back from these things. And I'll be surprised if Dave can do that tonight. Try and keep you focused, lads. Focus. <laughs> but Chafee has proved me wrong before. I counted him out against Fatali Lalatin. He powered through. And he came away with probably the best victory of his career. Maybe the best match of all time. It's a hell of a match, that's for sure. And what a time to do it. And what an opponent to do it against. This, let's not underestimate the gravitas of this thing. If Dave Chafee can put on a repeat performance, if he comes back and puts away Hermes Gasparini, wow. Mind blown. I don't know. A little bit of ne negotiation in a strap. Both guys are fighting for that setup. Go, 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 grip. Go, 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 grip. Hermes is becoming really aggressive in this one. Both of the guys are pretty much the nicest guys in arm wrestling. You, you cannot not love any of those guys. But on the table. Every arm wrestler is a warrior. There's no friends. You just want to win. That's all you're here for. Dave's still looking for that back pressure. He's committing to it. And maybe he, he feels something that I don't. He's the man in the match. And wow, what a drive. I'll tell you what. He was looking. What, 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 I think that's a second foul. It is a second, second foul. foul. Wow. And that's a win. That's a 1-1. One, one. Well, Dave you what. is still in this thing. Hey. Um, and the intro. What's the problem here? I close for my finger like this. I close my finger like this. I was just going to say, Ray. The interesting thing is there that, regardless of fouls, take that out of the equation entirely and focus on what we just saw. Dave Chafee was in that on the wrists. There's no doubt about it. Emmys Gasparini had lost a little bit of wrist and hand. It was definitely a little more compromised there. Yeah. And maybe all that muscle mass is starting to work against him. Dave Chafee, hats off, sir. Mega. We yeah. may be in an arm wrestling match. I think we this. are. I think we are in an arm wrestling match. I see some blood coming out. And I believe last time we saw blood on arm wrestling table was insane match. Dave sees red and he is in red t-shirt. So he is ready. East versus West 5. <laughs> Uh, yeah. This is like Dave Chafee is slowly becoming the man in the super matches. He's, I think he found a way where he he fights for everything that he does for every single centimeter millimeter. We're checking the cameras now, and one thing I'm going to say there also really good to be in the corners down there tonight when I was working. Uh, front of stage because one of the things you get to hear is the advice of the corners and you get to hear it throughout really up close and personal even the stuff that they're trying to sort of keep from the mics yeah. and Paul Lynn has been fantastic tonight in the corner of the Americans oh and yeah I'm sure yeah. that he is going to be giving some fabulous advice to Dave Chafee yes if that can be taken on board you never know these things can be decided when we are sat up here when you're watching the match, you can read signals that feel very different to the man in the match. And Dave Chafee stuck to that back pressure, and he found some measure of success there. Now, we're not sure how much that was. It may be that Hermes was genuinely out of position, wasn't ready, missed the goal, a myriad of things. But J Dave Chafee was in that match. 
without doubt, foul or no foul? Off topic, off topic, Paul Lynn, hell yeah. Love him. Hashtag fix crew. <laughs> Paul hey. Lynn, the White Oak, great, White Oak. great match tonight for Paul. He looked exceptional. And interestingly there, just a moment ago, we saw that uh, Eremis Gasparini was really shaking his wrist out Sorry, there. Rest, and that could tell us something. Is he feeling it? Yeah, I want to know what is the call. Is it 1-1 one, one, or is it a foul or is it a restart or what's going out. on? We see the referees right there on stage. Yeah. Engin as he said, he wants to make this as fair as possible for all the athletes. And is the call, was the call correct? He's going over and explaining something to Dave, yeah. so I think we're getting a restart. I think we're going to get a restart. So it's 1-0 to Hermes, most likely. Yeah, we see the disappointment on, on Dave's face. I love the fact that both referees go over to give each other moral support as they explain that to Dave. Just hey, in go case. alone to Dave Chafee yeah. when, when you have to say him he didn't win. Yeah, go. It's like, Dave... We don't know how to break yeah, this to you, but let me tell you, from the bottom of my heart, we are sorry. Yeah. The real question is, if what does Hermes eat after this? Pizza or pasta? No. See, for Hermes too, it's their international squad look at, day. He look at the, uh, can, he's ready. Can, you, can you see Dave Chafee's thumb there? We just got a view of Dave Chafee's thumb, and I thought the blood was actually from... Hermes Gasparini, I think it's, but I think it's, it's from Dave. It's from Dave? Yeah, Dave, wow. the end of Dave's thumb is absolutely Ooh. ripped to Ooh. bits. <coughs> I see the audience, they saw blood, they're like, yeah, hell yeah. Dave makes it bloody all the time. <laughs> nice little... That, uh, that's Jody, right? Yeah. Absolutely, Jody. Don't see it, just hear it. Like, Commentators yeah, curse there, we went quiet at precisely the wrong time. I think the right time. Yeah. I think it was the right time. Jody, yeah. Lara, fill in the silence. I feel referees are giving too much time for both athletes. It's it's cool, but let's let's get this match going. We have thousands of people waiting for this match to happen. So, so it's a restart round number two. One for Hermes, and I believe I don't know who has an elbow foul, but I it might be I don't know. I think it's Dave. It's Dave? Yeah, I think it's got to be Dave because if it was Hermes, it would have been over. Oh, yeah. He gave that on the foul and... Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. So it's one foul for both mm -hmm. of each, uh, for both of the athletes. Now, the other interesting thing there is that was a pretty extended break for both men, and I'm not sure who that's going to benefit the most, but you would have to think Hermes. And it's important now that Dave keeps settled and keeps his mind on the match um, just for everybody watching you won't be aware of it but poltergeist in the commentary booth door just opened no apparent reason no it's fine it's fine we're still alive we are just send help if needed there you go they don't make plasters big enough no so right now we have match number 11 we have four great super matches to come later East versus West 5 delivers. Look at Hermes Gasparini there. He knows there's a lot more threat than he thought still posed by Dave Chafee on the back pressure front. And Dave's sticking with it again. He's dropped that shoulder down. He's looking for the height on the index finger. Hermes moved more to his right with the L. Hermes is not happy, mate. No, not at all. Hermes wants to get closer to first. Cop in a little bit more. Hermes has a great position there, though. Great I mean, position. High on Dave's thumb. Hey, my knuckle, where is he? I can see it just fine. Did where is he to my knuckle? Hermes Sorry. Gasparini is rattled. What is he mind. feeling in the hand and wrist? I must oh, admit, yeah, I said it before. I feel like it's 10 minutes before the round one and, and the finish of round two. Uh, it's cool that referees give them opportunity to mm. correctly arm yourself but you have to take charge of the match you have to show that you have to play by the rules also no infringement there from Dave Chafee clearly no infringement and he just had no. something in the hand and wrist down go the hands again and Chafee looks underneath there oh Hermes Gasparini stayed with his hand great there gets the 
big back drive pressure. to the back of the pad, but the hand Climbs. and wrist sacrifice by Dave, and now the press, yes. and that's a pretty Hermes decisive Gasparini. win. Two to nothing. Dave Chafee caught in no man's land, Ray. He sort of half hit, then stopped, then started again, and by that time, Eris had total control of the hand and wrist. We have seen a great evolution of Hermes Gasparini. I think the, the biggest biggest moving factor for him was the loss to Matt Mast back in WL. And now we see this guy is ready to take on absolutely the best on the planet. Right now he's in control, 2-0. Look on that replay there, Ray. We saw Dave drive to the side, but he's nowhere near the no. depth on the hand and wrist and nowhere near the purchase. Wrist and also, is, he, is too low. he is stayed too low. outside, he didn't yes. transition. He, when you get any sniff of the A side, if you're gonna drop that wrist, you gotta dive on it. Don't wait till the man's on top of you. Absolutely. Yeah, I mean, you gotta feel for Dave. You really do, because in those first two starts, he had something. We have Devon Larratt in Dave's corner. We're seeing Aramis, but we're seeing on other cameras that Devon Larratt is right there. Devon's like, hey, how about the Kings move? Last chance saloon now for Dave exactly. Chaffee. I, I believe Dave can still take control if he goes lower on the wrist, doesn't lose his hand that much. Just keep, keep, don't try to cup, just try to keep it straight as possible and just drive down on Ermi's back pressure. Ermi's been telling me stories that I just don't want to tell about his back pressure where he says he lifts more than anyone else on the planet. I kind of believe him right now. What I will say is that Dave has to make a clear and conscious decision. If he tries to stay with his hand and wrist at this point, when he's moved to the back of the pad and he doesn't have the height, I think he's doomed. He either has the hand height and he stretches Hermes out, or he's got to give that up and just dive straight on top of him from the start because he can't keep getting caught in the no man's land, you know? He needs to be first away. Yeah, you need some connection. You need connection to your arm. You need connection to your wrist. If you want to get get your gut, your opponent on a wrist, on a flop wrist press. You want to be as close to their wrist as possible. Hermes is smart, Hermes climbs, and that is a big problem. Like we saw in the match with Vitali. Vitali stayed on place, Vitali didn't climb, and that worked really great for Dave. This time, it's not really working. Two to zero. Hermes Gasparini of Italy leads this super match. East versus West five here. Green Park Hotel this is, Resort. This is for the champion title. This is, is the it? championship match. Right now. Sadly, Jerry Catteret couldn't defend it, but I would call him interim champ, and then we will see it for sure. The winner of this match will face Jerry Catteret. Hermes has a great position again. So almost underneath. Good control and strap. strap. Even with that compromised Hermes position. Didn't, hasn't lost his wrist any point of the no, match. But what was interesting there is he may have done, but Dave Chafee, the, the amount of back pressure, the integrity of, of Hermes's back pressure is making Dave drop that shoulder. And he's, he's dropping it straight. He's already in the center of the table. He's no A side and s starts to drop his shoulder, almost going towards an extended top row or even a Kings. And it's way too early. He needs to keep that shoulder high and don't panic. Just stay with it, stay with it. If nothing else, try to inflate the hand and wrist of Hermes Gasparini. By doing that, when they're tied together, he may get something. But he's dropping the shoulder early, he's getting no purchase, and to put it bluntly, Hermes is the better top rower. Oh, for sure. I believe, I believe, I really believe Hermes is the best top rower on the planet. He, because he came out from, he's not a real true heavyweight. He has the frame for it, for sure. But he came up with so much technique that he brought brings be behind all this and the whole weekend every time i met him he's like hey um dave take my hand impossible okay. impossible well, to be to be fair that's how it's playing out at this point in time to be to the credit of dave chafee i can tell you right now there's nothing to choose between these men in back pressure they are absolutely balanced yes. what there is is Hermes Gasparini wrist is pronation. Yes. yes. Wrist and pronator, yes. Hermes Gasparini is controlling that. In, in my opinion, there's Dave is always on that top five. If you win Dave, Dave's, Dave's you're good. The but first intro. Yes, always. There's the center. Now this hold your position, Dave Chafee. Don't drop. Stay with it, Dave Chafee. Do not drop that shoulder. Stay with it. Hermes 
collecting and those little bounces just to off balance Dave and Dave needs to stay with his arm if he's gonna go to the oh he missed time he, he baited he baited yeah you've got to go or not yeah. not he, halfway he's waiting for Dave to jump in and then oh, 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 I don't think they're giving it as a foul. It's I think winner. it is going to be given as a pin. Let's see. They're going to the it's cameras. Winner. Referee's going to... i got to say... I believe... I would, I would I, agree I with Hermes. Hermes. I think yes. that was... He drove him off the path. Isak has to hold it back. Hermes is so hyped up. Let's see the referees. Can we see the referees? I think it's a win. One elbow foul. Oh! One elbow foul that's on Dave. As hell. On Dave. One elbow foul on Dave. Ooh, that's harsh. Hermes Gasparini. How did you see He's that, looking right? really good. I the Aramis one. I mean, we get to see yeah, it again, so... Yeah. I, I think at this point, Dave is running out of options. He, I thought he did great early in that round, but then he panicked yeah. a little. I think, like, Dave is one of my favorite pullers, and whenever you talk about the best in the superweight class, like, for 10 years, Dave has whenever been he there, up, top oh, yeah. five guy, all the effing time. He's mega. Mega. And... Hermes just shows that he came in prepared. Like he'd been telling us, like he's in the best shape of his life. Mm -hmm. I believe him. Yeah. Absolutely believe that guy. He told me in three different languages. None of them I understood, but I believe him. Dave Chafee riding his look there. It's funny. Sometimes these things can work for you, sometimes they can work against you. Did he put any fatigue into the hand and wrist of Hermes? What was great there was the bravery of Hermes to, to reverse that with his own press. And when he went, and in he fact, we were talking about it moments yeah. earlier. If you're going to go, go. go. You can't yeah. halfway house it. Yes. Either go or don't. Just, yeah. And Hermes, my God, he yeah, committed he, he hard. Yeah. 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 I, I still believe Hermes is the best technical top roller on the planet. Like even watching him when he was uh, pulling at 90 kilos, 85, 80. I remember that guy is so impressive. I remember Batches and Zloty Tour, and of course, him and Michael Todd. That was one of the best matches of all time, for sure. Irma's just been improving. He's gunning the big guys. He wants to be the best. He has the drive. You, when you, whenever you talk with Irma's, you know he wants to be the best. There's nothing else in his mind. So he will do everything to achieve that. And right now, he's on pad there because we all know who the hell is Dave Chafee? Hermes Gasparini is from an arm wrestling family. I used to arm wrestle this man's dad 25 years ago. Massimo Gasparini, been to war with that guy a few times, and I'm sure Massimo, Massimo, if you're watching, your boy's doing good, isn't he? Hell yeah, he is. And I was speaking to Hermes yesterday. He was proudly telling me about his dad. Big drive from Chafee, and again, Chafee has got a measure of success now. And Aramis just calm, trying Licks, to wait for the press. Control. He'll try to go on the counter, and here it comes. He'll, oh, there's the press. Wow. 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 Wait. Surely that's not. That looked clean. I, this is what, came with, be this is what happens <laughs> when you pull Wagner Bortolato. There you go. He's so happy. He's so happy. He arm wrestled brilliantly, Ray. Let's not yeah. make it. I, 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 Aramis is one of the nicest guys you will ever meet. Yeah, lovely lad. As is Dave. Great guys. But I'll tell you what. He's Aramis so put happy. Out. He, he's so happy yeah. about this. A clinic. That was a great match. Great I'm going to get out of Dodge. Leave Rolly Ray in yeah. charge no of problem. this house. We, we will have Ryan Bowen coming back. Uh, let's take a look at the replay as Dave lost his wrist. Pretty much straight from the go. And Hermes Gasparini was in full control of this match. He could finish it. He tried. And what he wanted to do was a clean sweep victory. So he knows he knows that he has a little bit to improve and is ready to face the best of the best. Most likely in East versus West is going to be Jerry Cataret. Maybe Levan Saganishvili. But Hermes Gasparini looking great throughout this match. Did you see it, Ryan? Wow, did I see it? What a match. Yeah. My goodness me. Dave Chaffee, Hermes Gasparini showing us true, raw emotion. Amazing. Amazing performance yeah. from both guys. I loved it, every bit of it. Uh, it clearly meant a lot to so no, much. No, no fat, only quality. <laughs>
All quality. From All quality. Guys. Absolutely. Yeah, I, I, I love both of those guys. It's always hard to see Dave Chafee lose. Dave is a true warrior. He's been pulling this year so many super matches on a high level. I think he needs a break. And he's always, in my opinion, he's always in that top five spot on the planet. Hermes Gasparini, I would consider him as number two guy on the planet right well, now. You have to say it, don't you? With uh, Jerry Cataret somewhat, somewhat out injured, you have to say I believe. Two. I believe so. Do you believe it? I believe so. Yeah. But let's now find out. Let's cross... Uh, to Adam Taranenko and our winner, who will join us very shortly, because we're going to hear directly from this man, and I believe he will tell us that he really is ready for exactly. the Exactly. <laughs> Hermes, kind of relations with you been? Anna, it's good to go. Very good applause. Hey, unfortunately, Hermes is head too big, so that we have to do. Uh, Hermes, congratulations on your win today. Uh, tell me, did the match go the way you expected, or were you expecting a different outcome? <clears throat> yes, I was uh, uh, very not too much confident, but. I know is my style is good for Dave, but this is uh, absolutely war. It's a war, big war. Yeah. <laughs> I never expected like this uh, fight during. Okay. <sighs> uh. Huh? Uh, no. <laughs> okay. Hold on. Hold on. So now. Who would you like to pull next? Where is Levan? <laughs> hey, where is Levan? Where is Levan at? <laughs> so I want to try. I want to try. He's a monster. Now maybe if I can stop the first round a little bit, is a is a super. Maybe can do more, I don't know. But I want to try next year. You guys heard that. Thank you, Hermes. Congratulations. See you guys, Levon.